As a woman, you have probably struggled with a bad habit that prevents you from reaching your full potential. This can affect different areas of your life, but the good news is that we can overcome these habits and grow into the best versions of ourselves, but we have to identify them and work with Christ so that he can help us to heal and live in true freedom from these habits. And welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about bad habits that hinder growth from the areas of spiritual growth to physical things. We're going to be looking at all these habits and how we can overcome them. My name is Vivian and I make faith-based content for women to help them grow in their relationship with God and walk in their purpose. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe and stick around the door. I once read a book about habits and the writer has talked about how it's way easier to form a habit than it is to actually break it but you know it's not impossible it's not impossible especially from the point of view as a christian habits are i like to see them as both a physical thing that involves the act of the will but it's also spiritual because like there are habits that are spiritual there are habits that can be like a bad addictions that have to be broken by the power of the holy spirit so in terms of our growth as women there are things that don't serve us well there are things that don't help us to actually grow in the way and the manner that god you know actually wants us to so it's so important that we don't ignore them now i have dealt with a lot of habits over the course of my life and ever since being saved and there are things that i'm just like Oh, why is it so difficult to stop saying things than others but it's not impossible and by God's help we can overcome one of the first bad habits that I wanted to talk about today is actually negative self-talk and this might seem like you know why is this part on this list this is on this list because it honestly affects so many, so many areas of our life right when we speak to ourselves negatively when we um, look at ourselves negatively, when we look down at ourselves, when we look down on our worth, when we look down on our value, when you see yourself as less than, when you see yourself as not enough, when you see yourself as not capable, when you see yourself as inadequate, these things really affect you from growing inside out, right? God can have this amazing potential for you. God can have this amazing destiny and plan for you. But if you don't even believe that it is possible for you to do great things, if you don't believe that God can use you, then it's not going to happen. Because what you believe about yourself is what you will be. And God wants us to operate from a place of faith. God wants us to operate from a place of faith and not fear, right? Fear hinders faith, fosters growth. Saying that's from a place of experience, right? Like there are times when it's like, you know, I'm in my head a little bit about even what I'm doing right now. And God is like, look, I've called you to this. I've given you the words. I am the one that is going to equip you. You don't have to, you know, be perfect or think that you need to have everything to accomplish to accomplish the purpose that I have for you. But we are in, we're in a process. We're in this process together. Okay, so how do we overcome negative soft talk? Because I know that that's something that a lot of girls deal with, that doubt, that discouragement and things that tend to, you know, cripple you and make you stay hiding meanwhile god is trying to make you stand in the light okay number one way to overcome it is to ask god to heal you to heal your perspective about yourself um this is because if you see yourself wrongly you're going to keep speaking to yourself wrongly it's like you speaking to a friend that you hate technically then that's not friends technically you're not being a good friend if you keep speaking to that friend negatively if you keep insulting that friend if you keep telling that friend you're not good enough so when you speak to yourself like that imagine that you're talking to i don't know your younger sister or imagine you're talking to your best friend that way it's not nice and it wouldn't help them it wouldn't help their self-esteem it wouldn't help them to achieve anything it would make them you know believe what you're saying and in turn hinder their growth so as well as asking god to heal your view about yourself ask god to help you to focus on him and how he sees you we put our focus so much on our abilities and our flesh and everything we lose sight of what really matters which is god which is his word which is how he sees us his view matters more so um you know it's good to pray like lord help me to see myself help me to see my your purpose for me through the lenses of your word i'm doing this with you please comment your thoughts as well if there's anything you relate to if there's anything that god has helped you to overcome please share down because it will bless other people as well second thing is having no goals in life right 
and the thing about having goals is in life is like i see it as like the physical and the spiritual right so it's so important for women to have goals in life it's so important for women to know her purpose in life it's so important because otherwise where are you headed you can't just live life coasting i used to do that just live a life you know whatever happens next happens and just going with the flow kind of life but we have to be intentional about having those goals in life and knowing we you know what this is what i want to come out of my life this is what i want to be um i want to achieve i want to accomplish and it doesn't mean like um you know the thing about it is like it, it can be god-centered and it should be god-centered like knowing god's will for your life and planning around that is so important that is part of the being a virtuous woman that is part of being a woman of substance knowing that okay my life is going to count my life is going to count for something okay so seeking god about what his will for your life is and whatever it is that is in front of you right now working on that the third thing is lack of consistency this is something that i have been guilty about and you know like consistency is something that has come up over and over again like from my walk of god and it's like I know that a lot of Christians struggle with it as well. And consistency is shows in every area. It really, really does. The physical, the spiritual, your career, your whatever you're doing, the power of consistency cannot be underestimated. Like the power of doing something over and over again until it becomes second nature to you. The power of keeping on going over and over again as something to you see the results, you see the fruits, right? and so lack of consistency really is a bad habit because it can it does hinder growth it does hinder growth substantially especially spiritually right if you pray one day and then you miss five days of prayer and then you pray for two days and you miss two months of prayer that's not going to help your spiritual life that's just the reality that is not being religious there's importance of being consistent with god and being connected to God daily. He is our life source. And when you take something out of what gives it life, it withers, it dies. So being consistent. If it's studying that you need to do, be consistent. If it's your business, you have to be consistent. If it's whatever God has still given us to steward, you have to be consistent. It's really by the grace of God because we cannot do it by ourselves. Because trust me, being consistent, staying consistent, it takes a lot. It requires a lot of reliance upon the grace of god and that's the beauty of walking with christ we don't have to do these things by ourselves so another bad habit is like having a fear of failure and that fear of failure what it does is that it affects you from actually trying new things it affects you from being willing to you know meet a goal it affects you from being willing to pull yourself out there when you're afraid of making mistakes you miss on so many opportunities for growth and the thing is that like mistakes you know they're not the end of the world you're meant to learn from your mistakes you're meant to learn from every experience. You're meant to seek out a lesson from what happened to you. What did I learn from this? What can I now do differently? But if you keep allowing the fear of failure to stop you and then you keep not willing to try anything, God said, write a book, but you're afraid to even try because you've never written a book before. God said, start the YouTube channel, but allowing the fear of failure to stop you because you feel like you're not good enough. Like it's a whole thing. And really we have to go down to the roots of certain things and again fear is a spirit and god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of a sound mind so we really have to like be looking at ourselves a lot internally and be like what is inside me why do i think this way about this why are you afraid of this why is enemy having um you know authority over you in this area why are you why are you giving the enemy power over you in this area of your life you have to be looking at those things and asking the Lord to deliver you from the spirit of fear so that you can so that you can grow in boldness, so you can grow in boldness and authority and knowing who you are, who you belong to, and knowing that you know what? I may not see the full picture right now, I may not know the whole story ahead, but I trust God and I'm willing to follow his path and I'm willing to follow what he's leading me to do. You know, in my life there's all things that I, I may not have originally planned. I may not have originally wanted to go down that route, but God has rerouted me. God has redirected me. Even some rejections have been redirections. You know, this thing is really all about trusting God and being being like discerning as to what He wants you to do in every season of your life, and knowing that He is the author of our story. We're not. We can have our own plans, but ultimately, God is the author of our story. 
and um we just have to we just have to know we just have to we just have to surrender to that story okay okay anyway so the next point is not letting go of certain things i made a video on this recently about letting go and how it is important to let go so go check that out if you are struggling to you maybe find yourself holding to things that you know you shouldn't be holding on to not letting go of certain things does hinder growth significantly you have to let go for there to be more room for what god wants to do in your life now okay so another thing i wanted to say that it's a bad habit that hinders growth not putting effort, not putting any effort when it comes to personal development um this you know it's such a broad topic as well but this does include things like not taking um, not learning new skills not reading books to widen your knowledge and perspective and learning from different people listen for example listening to podcasts watching videos and things and really just growing in certain subjects and growing in your understanding of them growth is not going to happen where there is no intentional planting growth is not going to happen where there's no intentional cultivating where there's no intentional watering you know i use the symbolism of like what a farmer does and he takes care of the soil he takes care of the plant he is observant he he, he sees what goes on and he takes out the weeds the the weeds are the bad habits in this case the things that choke up the plants from truly growing so well, that's things that god does in our lives he takes out the weeds he takes out the things that hinders growth he is the vine dresser okay so whatever it is that you are struggling with whatever bad habit it is that you think that is affecting you from growing god does care and god can help you to overcome those things and um you know be transformed from those things so that you know, they don't affect your growth as a whole um so these are just some of the things i wanted to cover today there was so much more of course and um by the grace of god if we get in this journey and god is helping us okay guys so don't be discouraged don't give up and keep going like wherever stage you are in your walk with god now like there is still room for growth you will still bloom you will, you will still bloom you will still grow god is not done with you yet okay so i hope that this video has blessed you thank you for watching make sure to share and subscribe and comment your thoughts as well i'll see you guys in the next week's video bye guys